Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a top five video. It has been a hot minute since I've done a top five video. I've pretty much covered everything that I can think of. If you guys have a top five video request, then please leave it down in the comments. I'll make sure to attach this to the playlist so you guys can go through and see all the other ones I've already done. As you can tell from the title, we are focusing on brows today. I don't want to get questions. No, I did not film a tutorial on this, but if you guys want to see a shoot on this look, then please uh, let me know down in the comments as well. As you can tell from the title, today's video is going to be all about brows, top five brow products, and please just excuse Michael over here. I just, Michael, that's just, I'm naming him Michael. He's been with me for about a week now and he needs to move out ASAP. So once he finishes paying this month's rent, then he can get the fuck out. So I'm not doing like five brow pencils in this video or five brow gels. I'm just explaining my top five brow picks for every occasion, anything like just in general, these are my top five brow products. If I had to grab five brow products for the rest of my life, these are it. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So the first ones are obviously my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencils. I've been using these for over a year now and I am so obsessed. It's what I'm wearing in my brows right now. I use these shades three and six. I use three in the front of my brow and then six towards the tail of my brow to extend it a little bit more. And it just gives a absolutely amazing effect. As you can tell, they look natural. They don't look too overdone, but I can go in with six and just like fill that in with my whole brow and have a more bold look. So it's really easy to amp up and to amp down. It comes with a spoolie on the other end, but I just like ripped the cap off and just threw it out because like I never put the cap back on. It's just too much time. And anybody got time for that? So um, yeah, these two are my go-to brow pencils of all time. Amazing. So if you guys are a brow powder slash wax kind of person, then the Benefit Brow Zings kit has been my go-to. This powder, you guys, as you can see, I've used fuck all of it because you need literally the smallest amount of products to fill in anywhere. If you guys want a more sharper tail, if you need to define your arch, if you just need to do anything and you need a good pigmented shadow, these are fucking amazing. I haven't used the wax as much. I have used it quite a few times and it's not as pigmented as the powder. So that's why I just go for the powder usually on its own. If you guys are looking for a brow powder and wax that is bomb and is not going to move, go for this. I actually have some more brow powders here. This is a MAC quad that I made up myself. So here we have the shades Omega, Coquette, Mystery and Brune. How the fuck did I remember that all like perfectly? I haven't like rehearsed this. Like I don't rehearse my videos. Like I just... Okay, I don't know how that came to me. These are the shades that I keep in my freelancing kit at all times because um, they suit pretty much everyone. This shade here, Omega, if you have blonde brows, this is perfect. It looks like such a weird shade. It's almost like a beigey kind of brown shade, but it is the perfect brow shade to fill in your brows with. If you do have more of like that deeper blonde ashy kind of color, then Coquette is absolutely perfect for that. Obviously, if you're brunette, then Mystery is perfect. And if you have very, very dark, if not black hair, Brune is amazing. I will say as well, powders can give a lot more of a natural look to the brows, especially if they're low pigment. Like the MAC ones, they're pretty pigmented, but they're not too pigmented. Like I'll say that the browsings is definitely a lot more pigmented than the MAC eyeshadows. So it just depends on what you're after, what you're looking for. And yeah. Okay, so on to number four, I have um, two brow gels. The first one is something that it has always been talked about here on YouTube and I've just never bought into it because I just thought, okay, it's just like another fucking brow gel. Like it can't be that much better, but whatever. Until it got sent to me and then I realized what I was missing out on. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Holy shit. This is what I have on my brows right now to make them stand up. I have wog Italian bushy brows that are stubborn as fuck, never want to move. And as you can see, like they're perfectly in place. And it's thanks to this. I put on maybe three coats of it today and my brows don't feel crunchy at all. Like I hate the feeling of crunchy or flaky brows. It's just, and this does not feel like that at fucking all. This is amazing. Um, I used to use the Illamasqua one. It is very, very similar to the Illamasqua one. I want to say it's even stronger. So that's for a clear brow gel. But if you guys like a more colored brow gel, then, then I would go for the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Sets. Or just like the brow sets in general. It doesn't have to be Pro Longwear Waterproof. doesn't matter. All of these are tinted, except for one thing. They have like a clear one as well. And these are so good. This is in the shade Brown Ebony, which as you can tell is a really, really dark brunette chocolate brown color. So I used to use this just in like the outer third of my brow and then I used to use a lighter one of these 
in the inner part. I used to go ham on my brows, you guys. I used to like draw them out, sketch them out, concealer around them, fucking fill them in with a pencil, fill them with a powder. Like no one got time for that anymore. I'm busy. But yeah, that's what I used to do. I used to like go in. I used to take like 25 minutes on my brows and now it's literally just like some brow pencil, brow gel and I'm done. Like goodbye. Anyway, I'm rambling. If you guys need a colored brow gel that you don't want to move, this is amazing. Okay, so I know that a lot of you guys are fans of dip brows and brow gels and all of that. I have two here that I used to live by. These are the MAC Fluid Lines. So I have two here. I actually have one more in my kit in the shade Redhead, which is um, obviously for redheads, for people with um, like ginger hair, because it has that really nice warm undertone to it. So this is True Brunette and Deep Dark Brunette. I use True Brunette right through the front of my brow. I'm not wearing it today though. I'm wearing the Benefit Pencils. But I used to, like, you guys, I've gone through maybe three pots of this, and this is my fourth. Because when I was working at MAC, I used to be obsessed with wearing these. And then this is the shade Deep Dark Brunette. As you can see, I've hit the bottom of the pot. It's been loved, okay? And these are so good because once they set, they dry down to, like, a more of, like, a powder matte finish. I've actually cream contoured with True Brunette before, and it doesn't look that bad. Like, you have to, like, kind of blend it out a lot, but... Um, just like a random side note, I don't know. But yes, if you guys are like kind of sick of your Anastasia dip brow, or if you guys want to try something new, go for the MAC um, Brow Fluid Lines. They are amazing. Or go for the Benefit Brow. That's like also one of my all-time favorite brow products as well. So guys, that is all that I have for you guys in this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Be sure to hit that notification bell as well. That way you are notified every single time that I upload. I love you guys. Thank you so freaking much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Ugh. All right. Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back. <coughs>